Come check it out. Loaded for pay. Loaded for pay. He ain't got a reason. He ain't got a care. Cause he's loaded for pay. Loaded for pay. Hey everybody, welcome back to Surviving the Apocalypse with Lou. Spring is in the air and repopulating the post-apocalyptic world is on a lot of people's minds. So this week on Surviving the Apocalypse with Lou, we're going to show you how to make a post-apocalyptic charcuterie board that is guaranteed to have your significant other ready to repopulate. Everybody loves charcuterie boards, and it doesn't matter who your significant other is. Dudes, chicks, anything on the spectrum, you're all welcome in the apocalypse. But if you don't like a charcuterie board, you can take a fucking hike. All right, everybody, this should be a fun one. Let's cut to the crotch game and see what the post-apocalyptic spread looks like. That's a hard sentence to say. Hey, neighbor. All right, everybody, let's get to it. Let's cut to that crotch game. All right, everybody. The mainstay of any charcuterie is going to be your crackers and cheeses. So let's start with a good old-fashioned staple of Lunchables. They're pre-made, basically children's charcuteries ready to go. Charcuterie. Get those crackers spread out. Ah, that's not bad. Get your meats and cheeses. Right. I'm gonna spread these out real nice like. Not bad. Don't worry about the ants crawling around, that's just extra flavor. Second stack of crackers. Cover the ants up. All right, now that you have your meats and cheeses laid out, we all know what's next on the charcuterie board. Good old fashioned handful of mixed nuts. So go ahead and put that in the center. After mixed nuts, people like to have fruits. So good old fashioned fruit snacks. Now you gotta be tasteful. A little bit there, a little bit up there. Now we got meats, cheeses, crackers, fruits and nuts covered. Need a little bit of roughage. So we're gonna go with some pickles. Everybody likes a good pickle. Spread that out. Gonna add a little bit more heat. A bag of flaming Hot Cheetos. A little bit of color on the side. Some garnish. Now this is gonna be a ring of fire around your charcuterie, much like the nuclear fire that is gonna burn up the world, leading to this post-apocalyptic wasteland we're making so nice. Now that we have the garnish all around, it's time for our finishing touches. People are sticklers and gonna want more cheese options, so a little bit of spray cheese. Tower spray cheese, looking good. Lean a couple of pretzels on there. Now people are gonna want dessert options. Cut that. There you go. All right. Everybody likes a little summer sausage. So coil that right around the end. Give it a little bend. Finally, once you have all your meats, cheeses, and different accoutrement set up, you're gonna wanna serve it with a Tall, cool, Coors Banquet. And there you have it, everybody. That is a post-apocalyptic charcuterie. Now, I forgot, go ahead and garnish with a couple of post-apocalyptic dandelions. Now all that's left is to lay down seductively and wait for that post-apocalyptic love of your life to come check out your spread. I hope you had fun with this one, everybody. Just because it's the apocalypse doesn't mean you can't still have fun and romance in your life. Take a couple of seconds to look at your significant other, and instead of feeling that tinge of immediate anger you have because you've known them for years or decades or, hell, maybe even a century, and instead of thinking, oh, why do they do those stupid things? Remember why you love them in the first place. Money. And then go back to hating them for all the little shit they do that pisses you off on the daily. So until next time, everybody, keep your weapons loaded and your protein intake high and your hearts full of love. And you'll be all right, because you're surviving the apocalypse with Lou. And you know what? I'm surviving it with you. 
Come check it out. Bye. Go say I love you to somebody that you love. All right, bye, everybody. Goodbye. Because he's loaded for bear. Loaded for bear. I didn't know ants like turkeys so much. Better watch out, birds.